Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back for another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today our question comes from L. Cordell and unfortunately I didn't write down which video. It might have been in a message, I'm not sure, but um, he says, I'm still very much new to this and have poured through hundreds of YouTube videos, um, also many of yours and many others, for the purposes of educating myself the last couple of months once I made the decision to acquire my CCW. My question is with regard to adjustments made to a self-defense weapon, where legalities can arise in using that adjusted pistol in a self-defense situation. The caution that I received verbally when I recently acquired my first self-defense pistol, which was a G19 Gen 4, I picked it up from the FFL location and was told that any adjustments made to a self-defense weapon would put the owner of the gun into question during any after situations. Um, so basically he wants to know do I have any advice about that? And what I did was consult an attorney friend of mine, and I've got a list of things that he told me here, so I'm just going to tell you what he said. I am not legal counsel. I cannot give you legal advice, but I'm just telling you the legal advice that I have received from someone that I would trust. And here's what he says. Um, he says, do not modify your gun in any way that would enable you to have accuracy beyond the norm. Okay. Um, he says he would recommend a trigger of five pounds or more, so he would not recommend modifying your trigger to be any lighter than five pounds. He said if you have a solid case for self-defense, your trigger modification wouldn't even be questioned. So don't pull out your gun unless you have a solid reason to do it. Um, he said excessive force could be questioned if you have a lot of modifications to your gun if you don't have a solid case. Um, for instance, a three pound trigger on a Glock. Okay, he also said don't ever talk to the police without your legal counsel present. Don't ever say anything like, well, I didn't mean to shoot him. Okay, because that just shows that you've modified your trigger so lightly that you accidentally did it. And there, you know that there's no such thing as an accidental shooting. You put your finger on the trigger. Okay, so that's why he recommends five pounds or greater. Um, also, he said he wouldn't recommend having any work done to your gun by anything other than a reputable gunsmith. And I'll tell you from an experience that I've had, if you have work done on your pistol by a gunsmith who is not certified with the company that made your gun, like for instance, if I wanted to have work done on a trigger on my Springfield EMP, I would find a gunsmith who has been trained to work specifically on Springfield weapons. Of course, he may work on a bunch of different kinds also, but uh, if I didn't do that, then the warranty on my gun would be null and void. So that's something to look into also. Um, some of the things I've had done to my guns, I've just sent them to the dealer to have, not the dealer, I'm sorry. I've sent them to the manufacturer to have it done. Um, so that's, that's the recommendations that I have received from legal counsel that I would trust. Again, you have to seek your own legal counsel. I can't be that for you, but this is just, I'm just telling you what I've been told. So if you have experience with this, if you're an attorney or if you've been in an after situation and you've encountered accusations regarding modifications you've made to your gun, please comment down below and let us know what your experience is because that's how we all learn from each other during this series and that's what I love so much. Thank you for asking such great questions. Thank you to all of you who participate in this series and if you enjoy this series, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Thanks. God bless. Bye.